Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me this week. This week is a watch me work video doing a fill on myself. So these are the nails that I did last week and as you can see they've lasted really well. They are extremely long and I will say I did actually move with these nails as well and I didn't have any chips or breaks at all. I am just gonna file the color off um, because as you know from my last Watch Me Work video, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people say, oh, look at this, three weeks, no lifting, but you literally cannot tell if there's lifting or not when there's color on. So just removing all the color here. And then you can see where I do have some lifting. So on my dominant hand pointer finger, uh, pretty much the entire nail bed is lifted, which is not overly surprising because I did do so much uh, heavy lifting and things like that. But other than that, there's pretty normal wear on both of these. So on my uh, dominant hand, I had the Light Elegance gel system. And then on my non-dominant, I had the Nail Basics gel system. And there's really not a huge difference. They both wear extremely well. Um, they're really both great products. Um, so today I'm just gonna go ahead and do a fill on myself and I am changing the shape so you can see how I kind of go f about going from a square nail to, I did sort of like a short almond, um, almost oval kind of nail on myself this time. So when I'm doing a reshaping, I will shorten and do a slight reshaping with my electric file, but I do like to do most of the reshaping with a hand file. It's just a little bit more accurate and I find I don't file away too much and then have to go in with forms and add um, product in uh, for the extension. So I do like to file off as much product as I can. Um, specifically for this look that I'm doing because I am going to be doing the art underneath of my uh, clear gel. If I was doing just a color and was putting it on top, I would actually leave as much product as I could on the nail. Anything that's not lifted and it still has a good bond can stay, but because I am doing my art underneath this time, I am trying to remove as much product as I possibly can without damaging the natural nail so that I get a nice smooth application of my colors. So once I have as much product as I can get off of my nails, I like to come in with a hand file. I'm using the Light Elegance Finish file for this. A really fine grit works better on a natural nail um, because you don't want anything too aggressive. It can actually rip the natural nail a little bit and then that obviously causes issues and you'll need to go in and do some um, building to correct that. So just using a nice fine grit, I am using the 180 grit on myself here and shaping the nails right into that final shape that I'm looking for. So for today's look, I'm doing kind of like a, I don't know what to call it, like an amethyst quartz marble kind of look. So to achieve this, I'm using the colors Meandering in Moscow Marshmallow and Just White. And I'm actually just gonna take some marshmallow, mix in just a little tiny bit of Meandering in Moscow to give myself a nice sheer purple. And then I also am gonna mix in some Just White into the marshmallow as well, so that I get more of a milky white, um, a little bit more pigmented than the marshmallow on its own, but less pigmented than Just White on its own. So starting off my fill as I normally would, giving my nails a really good cleanse with some after wipe and then applying the Nail Basics bondage. And I am using only Nail Basics on myself for this set. I do prefer the feel of this product. I just find Light Elegance is, in my opinion, a little bit sticky, almost more of a honey consistency. And I just have that preference for Nail Basics, but by all means, you can use whatever you like. So giving myself two coats of bondage here. Again, with bondage, you'll know that you have enough when it looks sticky. And then coming in with the Nail Basics first and last, this is our bonding gel and I'm applying it with the Nail Basics Pro Round Brush. Just doing a nice pillow from the cuticle all the way down the growth channel and then just brushing through the entire nail so it's a nice, clean, flat, even surface to work on. And then once that's applied on all my nails, I'm giving it a 20 second cure. 
So to start off this look, I'm taking my mixed white and marshmallow and applying it to the tip of my nail and just feathering it up the nail. I am dipping my brush into a little bit of marshmallow just to give it that more milky look as I'm feathering it. Giving that a quick five, 10 second cure and then taking my mixed marshmallow and meandering in Moscow color and feathering it down the nail over top of the white, but I am wiping it away from the tip to keep that little bit of extra whiteness on the tip for now. And again, just giving that a good five, 10 second cure. And once I've done that on all five nails, I'm coming in with the Young Nails Micro Detailer Brush and adding in some white lines. Um, now on this first couple nails, I wasn't quite sure what technique I was using, um, but as I went going along here, I found honestly just being kind of sporadic with your brush movement uh, works really well. So just kind of pulling it in whatever direction you like, having some places that are a little bit thicker and some a little bit thinner, gives you that sort of marbly quartz kind of look that you're going for here. And of course, every time that I'm happy with this, I am giving it a quick five to 10 second cure just so that nothing moves on me. So I just slowed down this particular nail because this is when I really started getting into the technique that I'm talking about when I say just kind of use sporadic brush movements. Really just move your brush in whatever direction you want and I find it turns out with a really awesome marbling kind of look. And then once I've done my first set of lines on all five nails, I just put a thin coat of the purple over top of it again. And again, curing for, I did about a 30 second cure here. And then doing another section with the white lines. Um, doing it in a few different layers will give you a little bit more dimension and make it look a little bit more like a quartz stone. And then once I'm happy with that, I am giving that a full two minute cure. Next comes the building portion of the nail. So for this, um, I'm using both flexure and flex. 
Uh, the reason that I'm doing this is one, I'm using a buttercream on my tip here. It is mixed with a gel polish, which both don't have any strength whatsoever. And because of the shape of my nail, I want to have a little bit more strength. So the flexure is going on the tip and into the stress area of my nail. And then I'm blending with flex to give a little bit more flexibility throughout the body of my nail. This will ensure that if I were to smack my nail head onto something, the chances of it breaking are a lot Lot less because my tip is nice and strong my stress area is nice and strong and then I still have that nice flexibility throughout the rest of my nail and then after I have applied that to all my nails I am giving that a full two minute cure again and again in between each nail just giving a quick 10 second cure so nothing moves on me so once all my application is complete I'm giving my nails a really good cleanse with some after wipe and coming in with the Erica's Diamond File. Uh, this is a really coarse file. I really like it for perimeter shaping. This is where you can start to really get that final shape into the nail. It's good to, if you have a nail that's a little bit too long, you can take down length really quick without a lot of effort. And then I'm just finishing my filing like I always do. So starting with an arbor band to do my basic shaping and filing, making sure that everything is the shape that I want it to be. Um, there's taking out any thickness that I may have applied a little bit too much and just getting that general shape into the entire nail. Then coming in with my 180 grit file, I'm using the Lexi file for this today. And this is where I'm getting the final free edge shaping to my nail. So really refining what I want my final free edge to look like. And I do use the 100 grit side when I'm doing this. I just find that little bit of extra grit works really well on the gel enhancement. I'm then coming in with the diamond cone bit. I like the medium grit bit for this, but you can use coarse if you like as well. And just cleaning up, especially down in the corners of the growth channel, um, just making sure that there's no gel that's gotten down there. And if there's any little pieces of natural nail that may have um, kind of folded inward, just cleaning up everything around there so there's nothing to pick at for your clients. And then finishing off my shaping with my cross cut barrel. Again, I use the medium grit for this. I don't find it necessary to use a coarse grit, but if you like that better, by all means go for it. And with this cross cut barrel, this is where you're really refining that shape. It's also smoothing out the nail so that when you are applying your top coat, you get a really smooth finish to it. And then for this look, I am just going to add one more coat of the purple that I've mixed over the entire nail. I am pulling it all the way over the white tip as well. I just was leaving it before so that it wasn't as purple as the rest, but now I want that purple all over everything. And then giving that a full two minute cure in UV or one minute in LED. And then I couldn't make up my mind for my look today, whether I wanted shiny or matte. So I'm doing a little bit of both, doing a couple nails with matte and a couple nails with shiny, and then giving either a one minute cure in LED or two minutes in UV. Although I do find with the matte top coat, I still like to do a two minute cure even in LED as well. And after that final cure is done, of course, cleansing really well with some after wipe and just coming in with a finish file. This time I'm using the 180 grit on my enhancements. Um, and it's just a really quick top touch up around the edges just to make sure that no top coat kind of um, spilled over the sides at all. Again, just ensuring that there's nothing for your client to pick at. And then I always finish off all of my services with a little bit of cuticle oil. I really like the Light Elegance cuticle oil, but there are tons of options out there. The Young Nails Rose Oil is a really nice option as well. And rubbing that in, and then that's it. So this is my final look for today. I hope that you've enjoyed it, and I thank you so much for always watching my videos and liking and commenting and subscribing. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the section below. And don't forget that you can also support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Instagram.